hope for sexual sinners, adulterers, mischality practitioners, fornicators, harlots, homosexuals, masochists, masturbators, pimps, pornography addicts, prostitutes, rapists, sadists, sodomites, whoremongers, whores, etc. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Luke chapter 5 verse 32. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery, in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus took down, and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thy accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. John chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 verse 16 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John chapter 14 verse 6 Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 to 4 in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 There are four truths that we must fully understand. Number one, God loves you so much. He wants you to have eternal life in heaven with him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 verse 16 He wants you to have an abundant and meaningful life with him. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. John chapter 10 verse 10 Despite this, many people do not experience a meaningful life and are not sure if they have eternal life because number two, man is sinful by nature. That's why he is separated from God. All have sinned, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For the love of money is the root of all evil. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. The wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. The Bible specifies two types of death. Physical death. And as it is appointed unto man once to die, 
but after this, the judgment. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Spiritual death or eternal separation from God in hell. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. If man is separated from God because of his sin, what is the solution to this problem? We often think that the solutions are religion, good works, and good manners. But there is only one solution from God. Number three, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. This is God's declaration. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John chapter 14 verse 6. He paid the full punishment for our sins. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 18. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. He has the promise of eternal life. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John chapter 3 verse 36. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Number 4. We need to believe in Jesus Christ to be saved. Our salvation is due to the grace of God through faith in Jesus Christ. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. Sinner's Prayer Pray this with faith. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for loving me. I confess that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. Thank you for your death on the cross, burial, and resurrection to pay for all my sins. I trust you as my Lord and Savior. I accept your gift of eternal life and I surrender my life to you. Help me to obey all your commands and be pleasing in your sight. Amen. If you have trusted in Jesus Christ, the following has happened to you. Now you have eternal life with God. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. John chapter 6 verse 40. All your sins have been paid and forgiven, past, present, future. But this month, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 12. You are a new creation in God's sight. It's the start of your new life. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 You became a child of God, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John chapter 1, verse 12 Good works are not a way for us to be saved, but a proof or fruit of our salvation. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. God bless you.